good afternoon guys. Today I will explore Rapongi Hills, which is apparently a really upscale luxury shopping area. And we're gonna get some amazing Japanese food. I'm gonna drink, have some drinks. And we're gonna explore Rapongi more, so let's go. Oh, uh, there's just so many really nice side streets here. I think later tonight I will explore this area when I get back, but this Ikenari steak looks really good. I am so hungry, but I'm sure this will look really cool at night, lit up. And I am really, really dying for some Japanese food. I'm wondering, do I eat here or over there? I don't know yet, we'll see. So guys, as I'm walking here, there is a Shake Shack. I actually did not notice this yesterday. Right near a McDonald's, I guess. And a down to plants. I'm assuming vegan cuisine here. And a really cool area where you can sit out, eat. There's a Lululemon and a supermarket here as well. But you can see it's kind of like a AstroTurf area. Actually, this whole, this whole uh, shopping center seems pretty cool. Okay, so Rapungi Hills North Tower. I don't know, can I walk on this? I hope I can. Nobody else is. Okay. But the maps is telling me that I should go this way. Look at this amazing, these skyscrapers here. Uh, okay, Rapungi Hills is here. Looks like we got a Gucci sighting here. Wouldn't take long. <laughs> All right. Uh, so many cool shops and I'm assuming this is it. So Rapungi Hills, do we take the stairs? I usually take the, like to take the stairs, but yeah, yeah, why not? Let's see what's up there. Okay, so at the top of the stairs here, first you can kind of see how industrial, I guess is the way I would describe it, Rapungi is. Here you can see the, oh, that's highway. I thought that might've been metro. Nope, highway. Subway's underground. Come on, Zane. Okay. And when you get to the top here, I guess there's like a uh, upper deck area, plaza area. Now you can see there's like a Tokyo view. Yeah, like an observatory or something here. It's not Tokyo Tower. That is, I think, closer to Tokyo Station, but kind of get a map here, Rapungi Hills map. Okay, so you are here, so we're just at the start. Hollywood Beauty Plaza, not gonna go there. Uh, there's the Mori Tower, okay, so that, I'm assuming, yeah, that's the Mori Tower. Cool. And, yeah, I'm so excited to explore this area, guys. Really excited to be back in Japan. Like, I can't tell you how excited I am to be here. And this is the Hibia line, that's where I came in at, from uh, Ueno. And, yeah, well, so cool. This looks really cool, it kind of reminds me of a spider. I'm assuming that's a spider, but... I'm just taking a photo. Okay, there's the West Walk. I'm gonna head inside soon. I got a sweater in my last video and it's helping, but <laughs> the puffer jacket I bought I will be returning because it's just lighter than the one I have on. <laughs> but as I will be here for a month, I think the weather will start to heat up throughout the rest of March into early April. I don't know if there's anything in like Mori Tower. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff. Okay, shops and restaurants. The Hills Cafe space. Mori Art Museum, Tokyo City View, okay. Wow, that building just looks incredible. There's the Rapongi Hills Club here as well. Okay. Wow. And Cinema here, Toho Cinema. See anime here? Oh yeah, there's Demon Slayer. And, uh, oh gosh, is that Blue Lock? I actually have not gotten into Blue Lock. Let's go in here. Wow, look at this 
mall. I'll tell you what, malls in Japan rival malls in the Philippines. It's very close. I know a lot of you are going to get upset by me saying that, but they're both amazing. Okay, restaurants and food. Oh, some dumplings might look good. I want like something warm, you know what I mean? For this weather. I want to see what's around the corner here. Aforementioned Gucci store. Won't be going in there. This is, must be like the really high end place. Cartier, St. Laurent, Balenciaga, PLST, I don't know what that is. Oh, chocolate place over here. There's even a Hills uh, MasterCard here. Wow. I think we will uh, start to go up, guys. Oh, this area is like heated. Like heat coming from the ceiling. And a men's fashion zone. Oh, bookstore. Oh, I want to check out the bookstore for sure. So I will walk around in a square circle. This river reminds me of Shibuya, but on a smaller scale. And a different uh, aesthetic, like you know, on the interior. But here you can sit and uh, have like a meal or some coffee and look out over the skyline. Okay, so there's a men's grooming area there. You can get a haircut for like uh, 8,000 in the end, 9,000, something like that. So that's uh, 50, 60 dollars. 10,000 yen is like 68 dollars. So uh, I would say that's actually for like Tokyo, like downtown, right in this heart of Tokyo. I think that's a fair price. You'll probably get a really good haircut. Let's take a look at this bookstore here. I'm very interested in bookstores. Let's see here. So we're gonna have all of the manga here that you could ever want, I'm sure. So we've got some AI books. Can't read any of these, but they're fun to see. Oh, we've got a gaijin there. <laughs> Okay, so that has like fried skewers. It's not yakitori, but it's something else. Here we've got a soba restaurant right here. Um, and then this is really interesting. This has stuff that I'm not ready to venture into yet, but you can get like tongue. Um, you can get wagyu sushi, which I know is very popular, but I'm not ready for that yet. Uh, sea urchin, which is, it has to be prepared in a very special way because if you don't know how to prepare it, it can be fatal. Um, yeah, also not ready for a sea urchin. We've got Spanish cuisine over here. I like, I'm not a huge soba noodle guy, but the idea of hot soba seems interesting to me. Here we've got Western food, bar and grill. It's not Western, it's Rigoletto, but it's Western food. You get Mexican food, burgers, um, all sorts of stuff. Sendai beef round. That sounds absolutely incredible, huh? Okay, I think I'm getting pulled in by the Sendai beef or the grilled king salmon. So I think I will go for it. Guys, okay, so they hooked me up at a table here. This is really nice. So definitely gonna get a beer. Looks like they got a I weigh lager. I'm probably gonna get that because I've never had it before. Sounds like a local lager here. But their craft cocktails seem good too. So, I really got pulled in by this Sendai beef. But like I said, the king salmon could be really good. Considering we're in Japan, the seafood's gonna be incredible. Oh, that's Japanese menu. Okay. Yeah, I might go Jap Sendai beef because I've had uh, Kobe, uh, Kobe beef, but those are got grilled Hakuten pork. Okay, so it's pronounced E-Y-A lager, and I got the Sendai beef rounds, medium. You gotta have it medium, I think. At least that's how I like it. 
Let's go, guys. This is a really nice vibe. Look at this. Sendai Beef is a representative Wagyu brand in Japan. So this is Wagyu Beef. And uh, it won first prize at the National Wagyu Fair three times. So my <laughs> hopes are very high for this beef. Hey guys, cheers for Pongi EYA Lager. It is refreshing, but it's very fr a very fruity lager. Oh, it's got the lager taste, of course, but a bit fruity, actually. Oh, this is really, really good. Oh my gosh, guys, this is super fancy. So it's not a lot of beef. But my god, I'm bet betting it's gonna be insane. Alright, I'm gonna take a photo for Instagram. Feel free to follow me there. Also, I'd kindly ask you to hit subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. It helps me out. Thank you so much. Let's dive into this. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go right for the beef. Oh, it's really thick. Oh my. Look at that. Perfectly cooked. Oh my goodness. That just sent me to the astral realm. Oh my god. Look at this eggplant. I don't even really like eggplant, but I'm assuming it's good. No? Literally can't even taste the eggplant. It's grilled and charred. Hmm. Onion. I know what this herb is. Tastes insane. I'm assuming you can eat that herb. I don't know. I just ate it. Let me put some wasabi on the eggplant. Whoa. That wasabi tastes premium. It's not like overbearing. Oh my god. This is wild. This is so good. Oishi this. That is seriously one of the best pieces of beef I've ever had. Steak is my favorite food, or one of them. Oh my gosh. What is she this? Ah, I think I'm saying that right. Let me know if I'm saying that right. Wow. Okay, so on the menu, this says spicy chicken back rib. Let's try this, guys. I got a second beer too. I'm just loving it here. Nothing can top that beef. That beef was some of the best beef I've ever had. If the rib is actually in there. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is really good. It's like a fried chicken. Okay, the, the rib is there. It's almost like a chicken wing, but not American style. Let's try this habanero sauce. I've been curious. I've been looking at this the whole time. I've been sitting here. Ooh. Ooh, that sauce is really good. Okay, so this place is called Rigoletto. You gotta come here. It is so, so freaking good. Okay, so that meal, uh, the beef, chicken wings, two lagers, 7,612 yen, which is $52. No tipping. Gotta love Japan. <laughs> So that was worth every penny. I really recommend you go there and you get the Sendai beef. Insane. We've been talking about that beef for years to come, guys. Oh my god. 
is down there. So I don't think there's really much anything up here. West Walk. There's a medical center up here as well. Here. Am I feeling like a uh, matcha latte maybe? Uzi matcha latte. Yeah, why not? Some cool little cafe guys. So you can work in lounge here. It's like very uh, green. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get a matcha latte. Uh, matcha latte guys. Let's try using the spoon. So apparently this is a lit up street, like it has, it's a tree lined street that has, it's a, how do I say, um, it's on the Google Maps as like a destination, but the lights are not on. I actually really wanted to see this with the lights on. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. Hmm, maybe I'm not seeing it, but I see the lights here. I'm just not on. Bummer. It is beautiful though. That's the uh, Tokyo Tower or whatever it's called in the distance there. I can see how they would put the lights on. There's a Louis Vuitton. But they're not on for us today, guys. It is a Sunday night. Maybe that's why? I don't know. Alright guys, let's go get some more beer. And whatever else I get into. The night is young. So I guess this is technically still part of Rupongi Hills. But if you keep walking that way, that's Azubujan. I think is the way that you say it. I do want to stop in this Sutaya Books. Oh, it says no film. Okay, never mind. It says no camera, so okay. Maybe I'll check out Azubujan. It sounds like a city or something. Nah, it's way too cold for that. I'm gonna go back to Rupongi. Well, that looks like a cool spot for happy hour. You get beer, wine, steak. Just the outside of it looks really cool. Oh, I think I'd love to visit this area again in the summer. Burger Revolution Tokyo. 100% Wagyu burger, wine, and bar. Wow. I think this might have been like the side street I wanted to go down. We're close to it. But this is just classic. Tokyo look here. Wow. If you've never been to Tokyo and you've been watching my videos, you should just book your flight after this video. You can see it's sort of like hilly here in Roppongi. Oh, doesn't this building look cool with all the lights outside? I'm gonna dip into one of these bars. There's a, there are a bunch of bars around here. Oh wow! I'm gonna take another photo for Instagram here. Oyohama. This plume station, which I guess is like tobacco. Got a Gengar out here. Yeah, this happened to be the street I wanted to go down. There's a bar over here called Vibration. Let's see if I can get to it. Okay, so you got the How to Blow Casino. I can't get in there. But it's right there. And then you got the Vibration Bar. Let's see what's down here. I don't know, guys. Not open. That's a sign. Oh, well, let's see what else is going on. There's that Jumanji place. Beer Pong. Oh, that'd be kind of cool to go into Jumanji. Maybe I should go in there. Okay, let's try to go into Jumanji. Why not? Good board game. I'm assuming it's named out after the board game, Jumanji. Maybe it's not, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to film in here, guys. No, it's private. He said private. So... Maybe you saw my camera, I don't know. Everything seems to be closed, guys. There's that Abbott's Choice World Beer and Whiskey. Maybe we go there. That seems to be about the only thing open. Let's see what else is down here. Oh, 
also be totally honest with you, I don't know what kind of bars they are, these are, because Roppongi is the only place in Japan where I've been offered a massage. Now granted, that was at like 5 a.m. when I was going to get coffee this morning, but yeah, just keep that in mind if you're a solo gaijin traveling here. That might be a thing. By the way, just to be clear, it's not like Vietnam or Thailand, like where it's like completely in your face, but if you're out late on a Saturday, <clears throat> just FYI. Okay, I'm gonna get across the street here and I see a hard rock cafe over there. So look, I didn't know there was a hard rock cafe here, but here we are. Oh, and there's that Tony Roma's that's in uh, an advertisement in my hotel. Maybe it's good, I don't know. Look guys, Mabuhai, Philippines. Oh, very cool, at this uh, 100 yen shop. Let's see what's in here. Looks like you got gloves. I, I brought gloves with me. I figured I'd need them. Most things here are 100 yen. Wow, it's very warm in here too. I don't know what that is. Egg timer. Looks like you can get like house goods here, like hangers, stuff for your kitchen, cleaning supplies. We got Pokemon cards here. 1500 yen. I already have my Japan patch, but we got Japan souvenirs. Got one of these if you want one of those as a gag gift. Let's see if this one's open. Well, that was an interesting place. Eight dollars for that beer. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Anyway, let's see where I go from here. So I saw this earlier today. I wanted to see if they had something going on here. There's also a bar over there. I don't know if it's heated. Maybe I'll stop here. Oh, it's not open. Okay. All right, I guess not much going on on a Sunday, guys. That makes sense. People have to work tomorrow. Let's see this Rio Brewing Co. Let's see what this is about. Oh, wow. Four percent. Wow. Probably go with the delight. Shogun Ale, Shogun Beer. Or Utopia. Maybe one of each mini mini. Utopia, the Shogun. And I have some Goiza coming too. Genovese Goiza. I'm in Japan, I'm just eating as much as I want. Um, Utopia is very, uh, it's a very, very heavy wet beer. Shogun Ale I've never had before. Oh, I like the Shogun. The Shogun is very citrusy aftertaste. Very good. Okay, so it comes with a starter. It's a pan with ham, or no, pork, and something badocks. I don't know. Wow, fancy guys. Fancy, fancy. Mm. Mm. Sauce. Mm. I do not know what I'm eating, but my god, is it good! Wow. You know what it is? It's like a pesto. There's a pesto down there. 
and uh, he was sure to tell me it's boiled, not uh, fried. I actually really like. Mm. All right, guys. Well, too much beer for me tonight. Kind of. Anyway, Sunday night. You gotta go get that goiza. It's called a uh, Rio Brewing Co. Really, really nice, friendly staff in there. And uh, I think if you learn a little bit of Japanese, just a little bit, like oishi dos, which is the polite way of saying very delicious, goes a long way, goes a long way, guys. Anyway, I'll probably see you in the morning for coffee. Peace. Good morning, guys. So I'm gonna go over here to Common and get some breakfast there. I'm actually just staying right there, so it's right across the street. If you decide to say it, so Tetsu Freza in here in Rupungi. And yeah, it's highly reviewed. Let's take a look. Oh, interesting door. Really good and strong. Hey guys, we have music playing, but take a look at this. We have the poached egg on top. Okay, so this video features some of the best food, some of the best meals I've had in Japan. Without question. Yesterday I had that Sendai beef, which was insane. Then I had the chicken wings, the goiza, this morning. That avocado toast was just like out of this world, guys. Absolutely out of this world. Yeah, I haven't had a bad meal in Japan. Like, I don't think ever. So, crazy. By the way, it was uh, like 16 bucks for that meal. I still consider Japan to be a very affordable food destination, especially for the quality of food you're getting. So, yeah. Okay guys, I have to go return this unique little jacket because turns out just the sweater underneath this jacket is good enough. So, I'm gonna go return this. Unique little does have a return policy, hopefully it works. I'll let you know. By the way, I bought this jacket in my first, or the video before this one. All right, so this unique look, if you're staying in Roppongi is in uh, Tokyo Midtown. Just a less than a five minute walk over here. Let's see if we can get this done, guys. Well, that was a very smooth and efficient process. They were so nice. They were like, sorry, we can't refund the, the paper bag. <laughs> they were like really trying hard to, I didn't even know what they were doing. It's 10 yen. I was like, oh, that's okay. <laughs> so kind, so kind. Uh, Gotta love it, man. Anyway, that will conclude this video. Stay tuned for more amazing Japan adventures here. Next video, you'll see me going somewhere else. And then I'll be back to Tokyo for a while. So, all right, until next time, guys. Peace.